Alrighty, I have Miss Isla here, and I was going to change her into something really cute. And I have to say that she has definitely become my favorite of the twins. Um, I do love Edie's, but I am possibly going to be selling her. I'm not sure yet. Um... Oh, it really just depends. Like, I like them both, so I'm trying to, like, get more, get interacted with them both. Because I don't, like, really want to sell her, but I, I definitely can't sell Isla because I'm just, like, way too in love with her. Um, she might need a haircut, though, because her hair is, like, extremely long. Um, but I've put together this really cute outfit. Since my birthday is in March, I am the 15th, so I figured this would be like a really cute outfit. What is that? Oh, it's got fabric in there so that that mesh doesn't rub on a baby's skin. Well, that's clever. And... I figured this would be really cute and I'll probably keep her in this for a while just cuz I love anything to do with like St. Patty's Day and this is literally like probably my only outfit that I have for it I might buy some this year since I'm all done with my baby payments um, I am not sure I've been Going back and forth, I was really looking at um, Serenity Smith's baby Raven. Well, it was her baby, but now it's um, Silicone Baby's Raven. Oh my gosh, I would just... Whew. For some reason, something was telling me the other day that I needed that baby. <laughs> or a baby like that baby. Um, I just... Just a little small for you or not or no nah, girl are we good it seems a little just wide that's fine let's see if it fits here but I was looking at that baby and I was like for the longest time I was like oh my god I love that baby and I'm just like ah, the only way that's gonna happen is if I sell a baby and then of course I liked another baby from another artist, um, Kristen Engler, I think. I like baby Emma, and I was also wanting a bigger baby of hers, which had a drink and wet system, and she would be full body, but I just wasn't for sure. The only way that's going to happen is if I sell a baby. And the other day, I was like, oh, I want a toddler. And then, of course, I've been wanting Tegan, and I couldn't find any Tegans out there. So, we'll see. I'm really not sure what's going to happen in my collection. But you already know the babies that are staying here and the babies that are that could possibly go on. Oh, what is that? Oh, purple fuzz. Um, these socks do not stretch. Like, I don't even know how they use this for real babies. Let's try this foot. Um, I was definitely really wanting another baby. I'm just not sure if I want to sell Edie's or not. Um, I know Isla's not going nowhere, but Edie's just might. Oh, I think these are a little too small. They're hanging off the, the back foot. Let's see if I can find some white ones. Really not sure. I like the fuzzy socks on her. Let's see if I can find a really cute pair. I guess they don't have to match. Babies don't always match, right? Let's see, this color, or this color, I think I'll do that color, that way people know that you're a girl. See, these would look cute too, even though those don't go with that. 
at all. Really, oh, hopefully my face wasn't in there. My hair looks a hot mess. I stopped getting perms and now my hair is just like all over the place. And I'm just not sure when I'll be able to be back on camera because my hair is always looking a mess now. Oh yeah, these look way better. Oh, you look so comfy, girl. Okay, she's really become my favorite baby. That's all I have to say. I'm not going to comment. The other day, I was just holding her. I had her in the heating blanket. I am just in love with this baby. And then I was walking around the room holding her and giving her lovies. Um... Let's see if I have a hairband to go with any of this. I'm not sure if I do or not. If I do, then I'll fix her hair. Oops, sorry guys. She's just so beautiful. I think it's her size. Edie's is really small and dainty. But I know if I dress Edie's, then I'll just fall right back in love with her. Which, hey, there's no problem with that, right? I think... This will go. Oh man, we gotta go show somebody what you're gonna look like. <sighs> Ooh, she's just so heavy too. And I love it. I love it. I love her size. I love her weight. But yeah, I want some changes in here. Like, I just move my hand around sometimes and she gets, like, these cute little curls and her little birthmark in her hair. I definitely missed her this week. I haven't been in here a lot. So, had so much to do. And so little time. I still have to send the baby off to Spain and it's really a pain to fill out the paperwork. So <sighs> it's really stressful. I'm, I'm going to be doing that tomorrow, even though I might have said I was going to do it sooner. Face it, they didn't want to pay me up front and I had to kind of come out of pocket to do it. So I had to wait until I got paid because I wasn't expecting to have to send a baby, you know? But it's okay. Let's see how we're going to put this on you. See, when I put headbands on a girl, most of the time I like a little bit out hanging out. If they have a lot of hair, I like a lot of hanging out right here. Like some curliness. To make it look like, you know, really real. Because... Let's face it, real baby's hair is kind of, it's curly, but most of the time it's all over the place. Oh, but she looks cute. And, alright, I put that there so I can set her up so you guys could see her. How fat she is, she's just freaking adorable. Oh my god, and her legs look so real, like she's so realistic. Let's turn your head, baby girl. And so your auntie, she's got a little mole here. She's got another mole on her belly plate, which I don't really keep on her. Um, now what am I gonna do? I guess we can pick a passy. Don't have too many green passies. I was loving this one on her. That's Christmas. Oh, I got these little cups. I got like six of these from the dollar store for a dollar. I don't even know why I had to think about that. Sorry, guys. I'm a little tired. Um, for a dollar and... What was I going to say? Yeah, I got those for a dollar and they're perfect for like powder in the diaper bag or like... Sticking a pacifier in there. I don't, I don't remember where my other ones are, but. Let's see what this looks like. Let's see, I just rubbed this on the 
inside. Make sure this isn't on there. That way it's not on her mouth. Is that too much green? Or... Maybe not. It's not too bad. Did I get the powder on you? I'm sorry. Let's see. Oh, she looks perfect. I think it's too much green, personally. Let's see, or she could do this. Mm -hmm. Or we can do this one, which you haven't had. I got long nails now. I gotta watch out. That one's kind of cute. Or we could just do a clear one. Because I like her looking extra baby, even though she's bigger. Not that those pacifiers aren't extra baby, but I like her in like the events and stuff. Most of my pacifiers are just for prettiness. I don't like to actually lose them on my babies. I have no idea why my pacifier box is always getting like, there's always stuff sticking in there and it gets like dusty, I guess, from some of the powder. But one day I'm just going to have to go in there and like clean them all out. Good. There we go. I like that better. That way it's not too much green. That took long enough, right? Right, baby girl? And she is just the cutest. Like, sometimes I'll put mittens on her to make her look extra baby too. I just love it. Her and her little hands. Just sometimes. Just like right now, it's a little cool out and she's got a little scratch on her eye, so. And that's your little Isla, everybody. I hope you aunties love seeing her. And thank you guys for watching.